Hey everyone, this is Darren from Pontiac GT 201. For once, I'm actually going to be on this side of the camera. So, I haven't made a video in a long time and figured it was about time to make one. I've gone through a lot of different RCs since my last video. I've had a two wheel drive slash, the four wheel drive slash I had in my last few videos, an SCX10 before this one. Can't really think of what else I had. I've had a bunch of RCs. I keep going through them. Um, so pretty much what I got here on the table today is I got a HPI Mini Trophy Truck. Um, traded my slash two wheel drive for this. Wanted something different. And then of course I got my Money Pit. My SCX10 here completely upgraded. Um, tons of work on them. I know I haven't made any videos of any of these vehicles. Um, but, I'm making this video for something I don't have on the table. Let me move these two and grab what else I got today. So, I just got this in the mail. Just arrived. Um, as you've seen... With the vehicles I've had, the ones I've had in the past, I've had nothing but off-road vehicles. Um, slashes, SCX, multiple SCX-10s, everything like that. So, I figured, maybe time for something different. And, so I thought about it, and... I finally decided to place order with RPP Hobby. Which, if you guys are watching, RPP, you rock. You guys roll. One of my favorite RC hobby sites. Um, I will put a link down in the description for you guys. No, I'm not trying to sell anything for them, nothing like that. They're just one of the best hobby sites I've found so far that ship really fast. Products are always in stock, normally. So, keep up the great work, RPP. picked up today is the HBI Sprint 2 Sport, the Von Gittin Jr. Edition. Um, packaged in here really well. All the way from Cali. Let's see what do I got here? RPB stickers. Always up for repping RPP. So, I know there's a ton of unboxing videos on this thing already. But I haven't made a video in a while, and this is actually my very first on-road car. On-road RC. So I figured, what the heck. It's about time to make a new video for you guys. Um, if you don't know about this car, it's just a... Um, HPI Sprint 2 Sport, which is a brushed edition. They don't. They also have the Flux, which is a brushless. But this edition actually comes with a set of drift tires and grip tires. So you can change this from a drift vehicle to a uh, like a touring car. Well, I don't want to really say touring car, but on-road racing vehicle. So I will do a quick unbox um for you guys pretty much i'm not planning too many upgrades right now for this uh i got a bunch of lights to go on it um besides that really don't have much planned for it i will upgrade the brushless once i get used to having an onward vehicle get used to having handles and everything and then uh the other main upgrade i'm going to be doing is just switching over from the stock radio system to a Spectrum, which already has the Spectrum radio. Um, so, let's see. Move this over here. Okay, it's 
2.4 radio, HPS sense with the car. This looks like drift tires. And some tools and extra parts. Of course, you got your normal wall charger, batteries for the radio. All the normal crap that comes with them. And, you know, your good old nickel metal hydrate. Eh. Anybody want to buy one? I don't use them. I'll go to Lipos. So. Get this off the table. And let's dig the car out. See what we got. Oh, and hidden under the car is, of course, your manual. You know, everybody's, if you used RCs, you know you get a manual. So, box in here pretty good. You know, just from what I can see, it already looks really good. Uh, let's see. Literally, I just got this in the mail, so you're all seeing the actual unbox. You know, normally everybody goes through them already. But I figured, what the heck. I was really excited about getting my first road car. So. Get in here. Uh, two zip ties on the bottom. car. Looks pretty good. Like I said, I've never had a street vehicle before for RCs, so kind of new, just kind of putting it over. Of course, the only thing I didn't care for, which I saw in one unboxing video, was HPI put a 2 4 in the thing, but they still have this big old antenna. I mean, I think that most people are going 2 4 to get rid of this, but HPI threw that on, so what we got. We got good old body pins. Of course, get the car. But Ride is really nice. It's uh, thick like sand. Not bad. You can actually pull the uh, the headlights are separate, and so is the actual rear end. So you can pull the spoiler off and the rear bumper off, which is pretty nifty. Um, pretty much, I'm not going to do really anything to the body. I'm going to pull the big decal off the front. I don't give a crap about that. Um, I got some headlights, some angel eyes headlights to put in here. I got a light kit on the way. I got underbodies for it. And I'm going to be tinting the windows a little darker too. But besides that, that's all I plan to do with the body. I'll upgrade later, just give her a big ass hole up on the top of it. Um, maybe go to a, uh, body mounting system where you can't really see the body post. But that's the body. I'll throw this over here. And you got your actual car here. All looks really nice. Tires were pretty grippy. Of course. You got your normal cheap plug. That'll be gone. That'll be at Dean's here in a little bit. Um... But I really, just looking at it, I really don't know what to put into it because I'm, like I said, I've never had one. Um, but I've seen a watch a lot of videos and a lot of research before I picked this car up itself. Seems like this is one of the main cars everybody's going with is a Sprint. You can either get the Sport or the Flux. Like I said, Sport is brushed, Flux is brushless. Um, but 
for a little bit of information, if you're looking maybe into getting a Sprint, um, it is a four-wheel drive vehicle. It's all belt driven. And there's a lot of people doing some upgrades to it. Um, I haven't really done too much research into upgrades um, yet. Because I'm going to be doing both drift and on-road to see which one I like better. Uh, but it seems like there's a lot. This is the main car everybody's going with right now. So I'll probably up, end up upgrading the servo. Do some upgrades to the front end. Make it steer a little bit better um, for drift. Of course I'm going to upgrade the brushless setup and everything like that. Besides that, I don't really, as now, plan to do much with the car until I'm really used to it. That way I can get used to the car and then upgrade it. But besides that, I mean, I think the car looks really good. This is actually only my second HPI product. I've never actually owned HPI before. I forgot the trophy truck a few months ago, and I got that used. So this is my first brand new HPI. So I'm really looking forward to see how the thing works out for me. Besides that, I think that's everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a very long time since I made a video. I think almost two years, I want to say. I know, it's been a while, but I've been busy driving tractor trailer. So I did not really have time to make videos while I was on the road. Now I'm back home. Not driving truck anymore. So I can actually be home more. Make videos back to the back to my hobby of RC. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sure, there's gonna be more to come. I'd like to be able to keep making more because I know I got a lot of subscribers. Everybody's been real good with subscribe subscriptions. I know I've had a lot of people, you know, oh you're you so dumb as shit and everything like that. Yeah, you know what? You. <laughs> you know, and I'm here to make videos for RC hobbyists. There's thousands of us out there. Everybody wants to learn about cars. But, you know, you got to have those little punks on YouTube. You know, whatever. You don't hurt my feelings at all. I don't care. I know you're there. So, I'm more making these videos for anybody who wants to watch and learn about RCs. Like, all the other RC hobbyists out there on YouTube. Yeah, I might have said um too much in my first few videos, but sorry, I was new. But I've watched a lot of videos, I've gotten a lot of help from other uh, YouTube makers. So, that's, you know what, I'm here for the RC hobbyist. That's what we all are, we're all into RC. Doesn't matter what you're into. So, everybody else watching the video, I hope, um... Let me know if you have any questions, if you want to learn more about the Sprint. Um, I'll be happy to try to help. So I'm going to go start playing around with this today and over the next few days and see what what I really like about it. If there's any questions you have, ask me. I'll try as best I can to help you out. Um, I'm not going to say, hey, you need to go buy one, but if you're interested in buying one, and you're like, I don't know yet, send me a question or ask what I think about it. Um, of course, give me a couple days to run it and really see what it's like. But uh, I'd love to, I like helping anybody out who's interested in the RC hobby. I think it's a great hobby, better than a lot of them you can have. So, alright guys, that's going to be it for me today. And hope you have a good one. Bye.